Hi guys, thank you so much for coming here. <clears throat> My name is Danish and I am here to talk to you about data migration. <coughs> Sorry. So first of all, we are going to retrieve data from three different tables and I have just I have just uh, one database bike stores and I'm going to uh, use three different tables and which are select which are production of products production of categories and sales of order items and run this so as you can see I have three different tables and I'm going to migrate data from SQL server and to Python so first of all what we will do here we will retrieve total sales based on product ID product name category and pro category name so that way we can know which product has been sold the most and which product has been sold the least and that way may maybe we can make a data uh, visualization or data analysis so that way maybe uh, you can know which product uh, is um, going going well or going bad so first of all what i need to have in this statement i need to have i need to have product id product name category id and category name so after that we are going to make a sum aggregate function to make a total sales based on as i said product id product name category ID, and category name so don't waste time and jump into the statement select category id and category name and product id and finally product name let's create our aggregate function sum so there is a list price in this tables so in this table we have list price and quantity so we i'm going to multiply list price with uh, by quantity and then finally by one minus discount so because there's a discount rate so quantity multiplied by List price and um, final multiply by x one minus discount. So from production that categories because my category ID and category name exist in production at categories. So I'm going to use inner join to retrieve data and rows from three different tables because inner join means that I want to retrieve data where is category ID from production of products is equal to uh, product ID, uh, category ID, sorry uh, category ID is equal to from production of products is uh, equal to uh, product uh, category ID from production of category so let me type it inner join and production dot products and and P and final on so I'm going to retrieve data based on the request of P is P dot equal P dot category ID is equal to C dot category ID so I'm going to set it up to C so that's why I set it up to C and P because it is long enough so I don't want a long enough uh, I don't want to type you know uh, words and all these things because it might take uh, much time so after that i have to retrieve the also uh quantity list price and discount from from the third table sales.order item so of course i need to type another join inner join and sales dot order items and I'm gonna set it up to I and on I equal to product ID and P dot product ID so there's a red line, red line red three red lines why because Microsoft SQL Server knows that there is another category ID in another table so it doesn't know exactly which one to which which one uh, to choose so I'm going to choose C that category, but it's no, it's okay, no problem because uh, we are going to retrieve data based on this request and this request. So C that category ID and I that 
product ID and I dot list price. So finally, I'm going to group them by these columns. Copy this and paste this. And finally, I'm going to order it by C dot category ID and also I'm going to set it up to total sales copy this and paste this and in descending order and just execute that so as you can see we have category ID category name product ID product name and total sales based on this for tables for uh, columns so so how to retrieve data from Microsoft SQL so we're using the statement from different three tables of course you need to use heaven clause because heaven clause is gonna help you retrieve each category ID and also migrate each category ID to exact category ID uh, to CSV file right let me give you an example let's say you have a category you have a data whose category ID is equal to one and you are going to retrieve the children bicycles uh, all data whose category name is equal to children bicycles to children bicycles.csv and you are going to put each data to each exact uh, csv file and i'm going to show you that in python so having and category name is equal to let's say road bikes so execute execute that so you need to use having class after group by uh, because uh, otherwise you will face an error so just type here so you will see an error so just copy and paste again and run this and see you are only have the you are only having the data whose category name is equal to road bikes so let's jump to jupyter notebook so just get rid of this and get rid of this and open another terminal cd desktop navigate to desktop and cd my categories and if you want to activate the jupyter notebook on your terminal you need to type jupyter notebook of course you need to have jupyter notebook you need to have it installed and if you if you haven't installed it yet you need to go to jupiternotebook.com and you can uh, install it easily so or you can use another uh, python another python uh, ide so uh, and you can also uh, you know run your python in your, in your terminal also because i'm going to share this codes in also in uh, my github account so just activate this and it is going to navigate to uh, it is going to navigate us to uh, Google and open it up. So I, I don't. So I didn't want it to waste your time because I just type all these things and also I'm going to share this on my on in my, on my GitHub account. So import OIS means that it, it is going to help us to detect the current working directory and run this. So this is our current directory, right? And so in this directory, I'm going to create another directory using uh, this uh, statements. So path, path is going to be r double quotes c colon and backslash users backslash damage backslash desktop backslash my underscore categories and backslash categories and try oys dot make this path, which is going to be this. Why I have to type uh, except because maybe this path is uh, does already exist so that's why i that's why i i typed it because i don't want to see any error uh, to pop up so let's create this so this directory has been created successfully right now we are we we have we have this directory and we are going to migrate our table our uh, data into this folder using PYODBC and pandas as well. So first of all, if you have a, a user ID and password, this is not the way of typing it because I don't have any user ID password in my Microsoft SQL server. So that's why I typed this and I made them command. So my my server is desktop dash 
DLB7DGT and backslash Drogba. I love Drogba, by the way. And if you want to learn your server name, just go to Microsoft SQL Server and type connect and database. And as you can see, this is your server name. And this is my Windows authentication. That's why I don't have username and password. And just copy this and go to paste and go to my Python and paste, paste it in the statement. So just go to Python, Jupyter Notebook. And so right now what we have here, we made a connection using pyodbc.connect and your driver and your server. And you, 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 you have to type your database. And after that, df is equal to pd.read underscore sql underscore query. And this, this is going to be your statement. I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So just run this, execute that. So as you can see, we, I have seven category names. So I'm going to download each category name into each CSV file. Let's say I'm, let, let, let me tell you it. Let me uh, put it this way. I'm going to download data whose category name is equal to children bicycles to a CSV file. And then after that, I'm going to loop through that comfort bicycles. I'm going to put it into another CSV file. That way we can separate each data from each others. So that's the way of making automation in Python. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Just uh, go to Python. And this is, this is my for loop, for i in df category name. So let's run this and I'm going to show you what I mean. And as you can see, this is my category name. And I'm going to look through that. And the first category name will come here in this statement and say select. And this is this this is the same statement. I just I copied this and paste this, but I changed here because road bikes, I don't because I want to make it uh you know uh, loop through each uh category name and that way it'll uh, It'll make data migration automatically on behalf of us without you know typing each category name to to the statement because it'll do it on behalf of us. So see category name and this is my statement and just I got rid of this road bikes and I wrote this one x in the square brackets and then dash format and x equal to i and the first category name will come here and. Uh, and it'll you know settled settled uh, settled into this uh, into this um, uh, apostrophes and so that way it is going to retrieve data whose category name is equal to children bicycles and it'll come here and df is equal to period data frame as well as query and then path is gonna be categories and category name will be children bicycles right. And it is going to be migrated from Microsoft SQL Server to a CSV file, which is going to be uh, children bicycles.csv. And after that, it'll uh, pass to the next one, comfort bicycles, curious bicycles, and and uh, so on. And it'll it'll loop through each category name. And let's run it, and we'll see what's going on. And it's gone, and it's it's done. So. Let's go to home and click here. And as you can see, I have all of the category name, children bicycles.csv, comfort bicycles.csv. And let me show you folder also. Just uh, open another terminal and navigate to desktop. CD desktop. CD my categories. And CD categories. And no, just uh, let's navigate to the, navigate back to the my categories and start categories. If you want to open a folder from your terminal, all you have to do just in in Windows start categories. In uh, in I guess in um, in Linux you need to type open and categories. So as you can see, I have all of the uh, different category names and it created the CSV files on behalf of me automatically for each category name and open it just one and as you can see I have just uh, uh, all data whose 
category name is equal to children bicycle and minimize it closes don't save and let's open the road bikes i love road bikes so this is the another csv file so as you can see we migrated each each uh each data all the data actually whose category name name is equal to just one exact category name road bikes and we put we put the data into the road bikes uh csv file as you can see here and it's really great and you can automate it or you know what you can do it uh you can you can definitely do this do this on uh every you can migrate all of the data to uh, just one csv file because i saw a lot of videos published on youtube because i just wanted to make another videos and different videos because you can definitely do that in SSIS, SQL Server Integration Service, but this is the way of, uh, you know, doing it on Python in Python using PyODBC and Pandas. So it is really great, and that's it. It is the end of the tutorial, and thank you so much for much watching my videos. And this is the way of uh, my making data migration for each category name. And we we type our uh, statement and just put it here, and that's that's all. And I'm going to share this uh, Jupyter notebook on my GitHub account, and you can reach to that, and you can make your data migration examples. And thank you so much for watching watching my videos, and see you later. Take good care of yourself.